Hello friends, this is Road to IIT and today we are going to solve some past year JWE problems, okay? So today we are going to solve some past year JWE mains uh, ellipse topics problem, okay? So let's get started. Uh, this is from the JWE 2015. This is a very good question. What we have here, the area in square units of the quadrilateral formed by the tangents at the and points of the lattice rectum to the ellipse x square by 9 plus y square by 5 is equals to 1 is that means we have to find the area which is formed by the tangents at the end point of the lattice rectum of this ellipse so first of all i draw the ellipse here this is the ellipse and this is two lattice rectums so these are some end points of lattice rectum now, if I draw the tangents, then this, this quadrilateral, we have to find out the area of this particular quadrilateral, okay? So, let's get started. How we are going to solve this? First of all, we have to find this equation of line. That means the tangent line. We have to find out this equation, okay? And then after we can have the area. So, what we have to do here is first formulate this sum. We have... Uh, ellipse x square by 9 plus y square by 5 is equals to 1 that means a is equals to 3 b is equals to root 5 okay that means this is uh, uh, x axis is a major axis ellipse now uh, we know the formula of the endpoints of lattice rectum it is plus or minus a e comma what plus or minus a e comma b square by a here e we have to find out the value of e and the value of e can be find out by the formula b square is equals to a square into e square minus 1. We know this formula. b square is equals to a square into 1 minus e square. Sorry, it's not e square minus 1. It's 1 minus e square. And by using that formula, we can find e. And if we have e, we have a here. So we have the uh, endpoints of lattice rectum. So one point of uh, endpoint of the lattice rectum is a e comma b square by a. a e that means 2 b square by a that means 5 by 3 similarly so this is the that end point another end point is 2 comma minus 5 by 3 similarly for this two okay now we have to find a tangent through this particular point now if we know the particular point then the equation of tangent is known to us we all know the formula that is x x1 by a square plus y y1 by b square is equals to 1 now x x1 x1 that is the x coordinate that is 2 y y1 y1 that is y coordinate that is 5 by 3 so i just uh, write it down that equation x x1 x x1 by a square plus this is y uh, the uh, y1 y1 is 5 by 3 this is the y1 y1 is 5 by 3 so y y1 by b square is equals to 1 so the equation line of equation is x upon 9 by 2 plus y by 3 is equals to 1 x upon 9 by 2 plus y by 3 is equals to 1 so this is a equation of tangent now we have to find out the area of this rhombus that means this particular uh, tangent line now for that what we have to do we have to find out this area of this particular triangle then multiply it by 4 and then we get the answer now we have the tangent so we can have the this value cr and this value cq now how how we can get that value just put y is equals to 0 here so x is equals to 9 by 2 that is the base if y uh, x is equals to 0 then y is equals to that is the height so 1 by 2 into base into height that is the area of one triangle and we have to multiply it by 4 so that comes out like 27 so this is my final answer because this is the one area we have find out this area and we have to multiply it by this 4 1 2 3 and 4 4 times that area okay so right answer is right answer option is 27 that is option number 3 okay so this is a good question of ellipse see this is not belong to ellipse uh, this is from the application of derivative and normal uh, equation this is a very good question because uh, just we left this question so I covered this now what we have 
द नॉर्मल टू द कर्व एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल जीरो एट वन वन एंड दिस इज द फोर ऑप्शन मीन्स द कर्व अगेन इन द सेकेंड कॉल रन एंड द थर्ड कॉल रन इन द फोर्थ कॉल रन एंड डो नॉट मीट द कर्व अगेन सो वॉट दिस टास्क इज सिंपल बट इट सम हाउ लैन दी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द स्लोप फ्रॉम दिस कर्व देन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द स्लोप ऑफ द नॉर्मल देन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द इक्वेशन ऑफ द नॉर्मल then put that equation in this equation so we can get the uh, we can say uh, they both are intersecting and if they are bo both are intersecting then at the which quadrant so this is the my whole task so let's do that first of all we have to find out what the slope we have this equation x square plus 2xy minus 3y square is equals to 0 so let's differentiate this it becomes 2x 2 x as a constant dy by dx plus y as a constant x difference is 1 minus 6y dy by dx is equals 0 okay so just simplify this we have 2x plus 2x dy by dx plus 2y minus 6y dy by dx is equals to 0 so dy by dx are common from this and this term so dy by dx into 2x minus 6y plus 2x plus 2y is equals 0 so dy by dx is equals to This two uh, common from this and two common from this gets cancelled out. So dy by dx is equals to minus of x plus y upon x minus three y. Now we have the point. Point is one comma one. Yeah, point is one comma one. So just put one and one in this particular equation. So here minus of one plus one that is two, and one minus three that is minus two. So minus two upon minus two gets cancelled, and we have dy by dx as one. So dy by dx is equals to one here, but 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 this is the slope of the tangent. We have to find out the slope of the normal. Slope of the normal is uh, reciprocal and negative. The inverse inverse of this that means minus one into uh, sorry, it's one into minus one because one into minus one becomes minus one. If the tangent and slope are normal, uh, sorry, slope of tangent and normals are Uh, perpendicular to each other that means the slope of the both the lines uh multiplication of the slope must be minus 1 so if we multiply this two we have to give the value uh, take the value minus 1 and we get it now the equation the common equation of any line y minus y0 is equals to m into x minus x0 so y minus 1 we have the point y minus 1 is equals to minus 1 into x minus 1 so here y minus 1 is equals to minus x plus 1 That becomes x plus y is equals to two. That means y is equals to two minus x. This is the normal line. So this is a very tough task. We are uh, we are up to the normal line. Now what we have to do? We have to put this equation of line into this because we have to find out the point of intersection between the curve and the ten uh, normal line. So for that, just put y is equals to here uh, in this equation of curve. So x square plus two x y y is equals to two minus x. Minus three y square y is equals to two minus x. Now we have to simplify this. So x square plus two x uh, that is four x minus two x square minus three. It becomes four plus x square minus four x is equals to zero. Again, open the bracket. So we have here x square plus four x minus two x square minus twelve minus three x square plus twelve x is equals to zero. Yeah, it becomes minus four x square plus sixteen x minus twelve is equals to zero. Four gets common. Minus one gets common. So x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to zero. Now taking a factor, x minus 1 into x minus 3 as a factor is equal to zero. So x is equal to 1 or 3. If we take x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 1. How? Because we have this equation. Y is equal to 2 minus x. X is equal to 1. That means y is equal to also 1. And if x is equal to 3, then y is equal to 2 minus 3. That is minus 1. So this are two points where the normal line meets the curve again that means in the first quadrant and in the fourth quadrant so which is my right option second third fourth okay that means meets the curve again at the fourth quadrant good question uh, easy question but still a pretty good question okay so this is all about today's video as j w means is very near please watch all the previous video uh take a revision uh remember all the good points all the formulas keep watching thank you for watching this video now only one 
week is left so i am not going to start any new chapter or any new topic i'm just going to upload a good sum good good past year jw problems or only okay so thank you for watching this video and if you like this video don't forget to share it and hit that subscribe button thank you